Welcome, my name is Cassie Deputy and this is DeputyTribe.com. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, my name is Cassie. I am a mom of currently seven children and we home educate our kids, my husband and I. And today I decided that I'm going to start answering some of your guys' questions via video because a lot of people have been sending me um, questions and I decided I'm going to just start answering them um, on my blog and on my YouTube channel. So they're not going to be glamorous. They're not going to be super like fancy and well put together because I just simply don't have time for that anymore. Um, my husband and I now are self-employed and running two businesses um, from our home. So we just don't have the time to invest in fancy YouTube videos and things like that anymore. So I'm going to start with um, one question that I got from a mom a few weeks ago. And her question was, how do I start disciplining my children in the area of housework and chores? So today's topic is going to be um, implementing, uh, we're going to start with just morning routines in your home. Welcome back. Um, we're gonna talk about implementing morning routines in your home. Now, first of all, I wanna just discuss why this is important, especially in a home educating family. Apparently, there's a lot of controversy as to whether you should allow your children to home educate in their pajamas all day, or if it's important to um, raise them with the sense of, I still need to get up at a certain time, I still need to get dressed, and I still need to, um, you know, do those types of things in the morning. And um, we are of the opinion that it is important to teach your children A, self-responsibility, B, self-reliance, and C, um, contributing to the family unit, okay? So looking out for more than just yourself. And I really think the very beginning foundational part of this is to start up a morning routine. Now, I have kids that range from my newborn who's sleeping in her messy, this is messy, I'm sorry, <laughs> her bassinet behind me, to my um, nine and a half year olds. They're twins. They're going to be 10 this year. And we have always had morning routines with our kids. So what does this look like? Let's start with the youngest age group. Um, now, it's going to be a whole nother video on sleep training and um, training your infants to sleep and stuff. So we're going to skip that age. But we'll start with like your one-year-olds. So they're walking. Um, hopefully you've started potty training. Um, that's a whole nother video. We start potty training at about 16 months. Um, so let's say one to two-year-olds. Now, depending on your season in life and the age range of your kids, I personally allow my toddlers and preschoolers up to about age six or seven to sleep in till whenever they wake up. That's what I do because I believe that um, they need a lot of sleep at this age um, and I just let them sleep in. There's no reason for them to get up early. Now the key is when they get up um, to begin a morning routine. So with them it starts with we make our bed we pick up our rooms, we get dressed, we brush our teeth, and we brush our hair. Now at the two to three year old age, you are physically grabbing their hands, helping them make their bed, making sure that they put their toys in the correct toy bin. One thing I do for toddlers is I the toy bins in their rooms I have labeled 
with um, pictures and words of what they what toys are in each bin. I'm making a no note to include a picture of this for you guys and I'll insert it right here. So this makes picking up toys a lot easier for toddlers and um, preschool age kids. So they pick up their room and then we walk to their clothes bins and I have um, I'll show you our clothing system, clothes, and I'll insert a picture here. Now the bottom level is my youngest kids and the oldest kids kind of get rows and it's just kind of a mess, it's kind of mashed up. But the youngest kids have their clothes accessible to them for two reasons. One, they can get themselves dressed and two, they can put their own laundry away. So morning chores. So we make our beds together. I grab their little hands. We put their blankets. All my kids get one pillow, one blanket. I don't do top sheets because they drive me crazy. Just bottom fitted sheets and then a lovey. Or in my boys' case, an entire bed full of loveys because they just, they like stuffed animals. So we do that and then we walk to the room and they pick out their clothes and I, from a young age teach them what matches what doesn't what's modest what's immodest you know things like that so they're getting themselves dressed you have to actually teach them the skill of putting their pants on oh my son he's three he'll be four in about a month or two he puts his clothes on inside out and backwards like every single day even if i have my oldest kids who do laundry put his clothes in the drawer right side out you know somehow he will still get them inside out and backwards pants shirt underwear i mean everything so those are skills you have to teach them you know i have a mirror on the wall in the girls' room um, where all of our clothes are so that they can look at themselves in the mirror and i'll often teach my three four year old you know do you look good it's important that we look good it's a, it's important that we are presentable to get up and be at home even um Okay, so I did mention that I was gonna explain why it's important at the beginning of the video, but I think I'm gonna explain it at the end of the video. So anyways, so we do that with my little ones. Then we go into the bathroom and either I brush their teeth or their buddy. So my older kids have a little buddy because I just can't do everything. I can't do everything. So I have a Hava helping, I think it's a Hava helping Evelyn and Alicia helping Duke. So a Hava helps my two-year-old and Alicia helps my three, almost four-year-old brush their teeth, and then do their hair. Typically my toddler, she has got the afro. Um, we don't brush her hair every day. But um, then now we'll get to the, so they do that and then they come downstairs for breakfast, okay? That's morning chores. So every morning when they wake up, that's when we start their morning chores. So now let's go a little bit older. Let's say you have a five, six year old. This is the age that you want to start teaching them how to brush their own hair, how to brush their own teeth, how to take their own showers. These are all things that need to be taught. So in your morning routine, they should already pretty much have it down onto how to make their bed at this point. They know how to pick up their rooms at this point. They know how to get themselves dressed at this point and put their dresser away properly. Um, and so now you're teaching them, if you have girls, how to brush their own hair. This literally has to be taught especially if you have kids that have hair like mine. It's usually a good year or more of training on how to get their hair to look nice. My nine-year-olds now have perfected doing their own hair, which is really a blessing. My eight-year-old is still struggling, but she's got very curly hair, um, but she's gotten a lot better. She was the hardest to teach how to brush her own hair. We had to cut it real short for a number of years because um, she just couldn't take care of it herself and I'm not going to spend an hour of my morning doing everybody's hair. It's not gonna happen. It's easier if you just teach your five and six year old and then when they've learned, the next one's five or six and then you can teach them. So it's really cool how God has spaced kids even a year and a half apart where you can teach them a skill, you teach it to them well, consistently every single day and then they've got it. And so when the next one gets to that age, you can teach them it 
next, if that makes sense. And home educating your children actually goes the exact same way. You invest a lot of your time in that five, six, seven, eight year old group. And then as they get older, they get skills down. You've taught them how to teach themselves, which will have to be another video. And then you can work on the next one and how to read and how to do basic math and how to write and things like that. So your five, six year old now, you're teaching to brush their own hair. You're teaching them how to shower themselves, those types of things. Same morning chores. But now at the five, six year old mark, you can start adding on jurisdictions, which is another video that I'm going to have to make. But at five and six, they can carry a lot more weight. My currently, he's six. He will be seven at the end of summer. He um, does all his morning chores. And then he goes downstairs and he opens all the curtains in the house. And then he helps fill milk for my younger kids, milk cups, um, while the older girls are doing their chores after the morning routine. Okay, so you can add on more responsibilities. So now let's talk about seven and eight year olds. Now the seven and eight year olds, um, kind of the same thing, but you're teaching them even more hygiene things. So you're teaching them more of um, like, or like eight, nine year olds. Okay, so this elementary age group, they are at the age where they need to start washing their faces day and night because they may be starting to develop acne or just needing to get in that habit. Also, the use of deodorant is usually needed around this age. Um, and then teaching them how to clean their bodies even more properly because at this point they start smelling and you know hormonal stuff changes, things like that. So you'll have to implement that in their morning routines where they put on deodorant, they wash their faces. You know, this is typically the age where you only need to teach things one or two times and they can catch on a lot faster because they're more skilled. Um, so it's just checking up on them and making sure that those things are getting done every single day. So morning routines. Now, also with your six, so when you start formal school with your kids, I don't know what age that is for you, but for me, it's around age five and six, usually around age six. Um, at this point, we find it important for them to be able to get themselves up, get what they need to get done, and be at the table ready to go when I'm ready to start school, okay? So an alarm clock is when we introduce an alarm clock around six years old. So the alarm goes off, they learn how to set it themselves. Um, in our house, in every season of life, it changes. If I have a newborn and I'm not sleeping, um, I may have them set it a little bit later. If we're sick or fighting sickness or people in our church or close proximity are sick, I may have them set their alarms a little later so we can get more sleep. If we have a busy day coming up, I'll have them set it earlier. It doesn't matter. What you're teaching them is when your alarm goes off, you need to be thorough, you need to be independent, and you need to be punctual. So I need you to get up at let's say 7.30 and I need all your morning chores done by eight. At eight o'clock, you should be downstairs starting your jurisdictions, which is another video. I'm gonna have to make it another time. So that's something you can introduce at about six years old. And this is the most blessing. Once you start getting to six, seven, eight, nine years old, you guys, if you've done this their whole life, it is the biggest blessing in the world. And the reason why is because your seven, eight, nine-year-olds will automatically start setting their alarms. They'll start getting themselves up. They'll start doing everything they need to do. And you can literally sleep in until 9, 10 a.m. You wake up and everything's done and everyone's dressed and everyone's ready. Breakfast is made, laundry is done, dishes are done, and kids are doing school, okay? This is how you can get there. At seven, eight, nine years old, you can get there. It starts here, it starts with the morning routines, okay? So you start this morning routine, and now once, once all that's done, you guys can go downstairs and you can start jurisdictions, which is gonna be another video. So as your kids get older, you can get more creative. You can have your older kids getting up earlier, and then they can get some stuff done on their own in the morning. Maybe you live on a farm and you have animals, and they need to get up earlier and take on those responsibilities. Maybe you have the older ones carrying a lot more of the weight at home with the younger kids, so they need to get up earlier and get their siblings ready. There's definitely seasons where I have my older kids do morning chores with the younger ones because I have newborns a lot. 
Um, so that's something you can implement. If you are a family where your where your devotions and your Bible needs to get done in the morning, um, I personally am one that values a quiet hour or two hours in the middle of the afternoon where devotions get done. We're not morning, my kids aren't morning devotion people, um, but in certain seasons of life I am. But not right now when I have a newborn. I sleep till I need to get up. So you can get creative and you can add more responsibility onto your older kids. Okay, so why is this important? I mentioned earlier, it lays the foundation of tremendous maturity, okay? The goal in parenting is you're raising mature adults. This is always the goal. Spiritually mature, physically mature, they're responsible, financially mature, um, emotionally mature. Um, I don't even know what other areas there are, but this is the goal, okay? So by tasking your children with, we get up and we do these things every day. They're learning to take care of their own bodies. They're learning to make themselves look presentable. They're learning to get up at a specific time. And they're also in turn learning, if I don't go to bed early, I'm gonna be crabby in the morning. My nine-year-olds have that down pat now. If they have to get up early and do worship at church, like they've arranged their own rides, they have to get up. I don't even, I don't even have to teach them when they know I need to go to bed early, I need to set my alarm, I'm probably gonna need a good hour and a half to make myself breakfast, get myself ready. Um, prepare for my ride to arrive, get all my instruments together. Like I literally, Sunday mornings, I don't even hear from them. They just do their own thing. They get picked up. They say goodbye to me and at nine, okay? So it's important to teach these things because they're responsible for themselves. If they end up getting jobs in the future, like being productive members of society, they're going to need to set an alarm. They're going to need to get up. They're going to need to have those habits in place and not like find it horribly difficult to implement those things later on in life if they've been doing them at a young age. Um, so those are morning routines. Evening routines are almost the exact same. We do not go to bed until the house is clean. I do not go to bed until my house is clean because in a house with, there are seven, eight, nine, ten of us living in this house and there are only one, two, technically only three bedrooms um, and a large hallway that we use as a fourth bedroom. There is no space in this house, okay? There's, we cannot have clutter. If everybody dropped two socks on the floor, the whole entire room would be full of socks. You understand that? So I do not go to bed until my house is clean, okay? So evening rituals include checking your jurisdiction, which again is gonna be another video, and the same exact thing in reverse. Brush your teeth, my older kids actually brush their hair at night because they find it easier to brush it in the morning if they've done it at night. Wash your face, brush your teeth. You need to shower like two, three times a week. So you got to figure out if you're going to have a routine schedule with that or just, hey, you smell, go shower. Um, I want your floors picked up, your toy bins checked. I want jammies on. I want, um, you know, the, the room should be in order before you go to sleep. Um, as far as what time this happens, in our house we don't have a set time. It's typically between 9 and 11 that we do this um, because a lot of the events that we do as a family are at night. So that's just how it works for us. So that's the beauty of home educating is you can flop this around to fit your schedule. If you guys get up early, get up early. Go to bed early. If you do vice versa, our homeschool day today started at 11. Most days it starts at nine. Um, it just, it, it goes where it needs to go. So I hope that helps you guys with establishing a morning routine and even an evening routine, but especially a morning routine. I think the character that that develops in your, in your household is key. And I really believe this is where it starts at a very young age is a morning and an evening routine of before you go to bed, these are your responsibilities. Before you come downstairs, these are your responsibilities. It ministers not only to yourself, because it ministers to yourself, but it ministers to your household and it ministers to other people that you look presentable, that you you know smell nice, X, Y, Z, that your room is in order. Um, so that is how you start and establish the foundation, which I believe is those taking care of yourself, the 
Six.